Hey everyone, it's Kristen with Think Somatics. Today I thought I would explain to you and demonstrate what the three reflexes are that people can get stuck in and that somatics addresses to break the patterns of certain contractions in our bodies. So reflexes are natural responses to stress and stimuli that we react to every day and they are called the green light where you're arching your back and ready for action. Uh, startle reflex or the red light reflex where people contract inward and then trauma where you bend or twist to one side. I'm going to demonstrate those and show you what they look like and also how you can figure out if you might be stuck in one, two, or all three of them. So let's get started. So to do your own assessment at home to see what reflex you might be stuck in, uh, I would say either get a full length mirror out or have somebody photograph you. And you want to have photographs full length from your head down to your feet, even though you can't see mine, but do the front, do the side, do the other side, and do your back. Okay, so take those photos and then let's look at what we might see in the photos with the reflex. So reflex number one that I'm going to demonstrate is the green light. Green light reflex is the response to stimuli that calls us to take action. So your phone rings, the doorbell rings, uh, somebody calls your name, your Facebook account dings at your computer and you think, oh my gosh, I gotta see what that's all about. So what happens is, is when we're called to action, our backs will arch a little bit and make us move forward to react to whatever that stimuli is. <clears throat> so when you're looking at your reflection in a, in a mirror on the side, or if you're looking at your photograph, is your back arching? Is your pelvis tilting forward? Now remember, there's a difference between a pelvis arching and junk in the trunk. So you need to figure out if your pelvis is tilting forward or if you just have a little bit of booty back here. So another thing you can notice in your photos is that people who are really green light, they don't keep their weight uh, evenly distributed over their feet with their weight over their feet, but they're actually leaning forward a little bit. So you might think, oh, look at that nice straight line. It goes right from my heel through my hip up to my head but it's actually at an angle like this. And that might seem exaggerated, but I do see people like this. They are, they are so ready for action. Their weight is pushed forward, ready to take a step forward. So check that out. See if that plumb line running down the side of your body is over your feet or is it coming forward? Is there an arch in the back? Is the sternum lifted? And that is the green light. Reflex number two is trauma. We respond to accidents, surgeries, injuries, often with a twist or a bend to the side. So some of the key things to look for are, uh, uh, first of all, I would say look at your uh, image from the back. You're gonna see a lot more when you look at the back of your body to, to see if you're in trauma. So trauma would indicate itself with a bend to the side on one side. So maybe a hip or a shoulder is down or up, you know, is the hip coming up and the shoulder coming down on one side? Is there a twist? So you might see one arm slightly in front, one arm slightly more to the side. The other thing you might see is one foot slightly staggered forward. And this will also make one leg probably bend a little bit so that your hips try to level out. And this is where that leg length discrepancy issue comes up. A lot of times it's coming from the torso. It's not that your leg is all of a sudden just shrunken after you've been in a car accident or you've had a bad fall. It's something tightening up in the middle of the body on one side or the other. So look at your shoulders. Are they level? If you look at your shoulders, if one shoulder's down, is that arm looking like it's longer than the other? Is there a tilt of a hip up or forward? is a shoulder forward, and that's going to indicate the trauma reflex. Take a look and see what you see. So lastly is the startle reflex or the red light reflex, and that's with the response to something that frightens us. We contract inward, clamp down on the front of the body, and if you look at it from the side, the tailbone would be tucked a little bit, the legs would be, might be bent a little bit, Shoulders are forward, the hands would be forward of the body. And now this reflex, like I said, is a response to something that frightens us. But nowadays I see so many people a little bit more contracted this way than they need to be because we are doing this all day long. We have these little devices that draw our attention into this small little space and it's closing us up to the world instead of being open and free this way. So if you're kind of feeling a little closed down, maybe you're a little stuck in the red light. So those are the three reflexes. You've got the green light, 
the trauma and the startle. And if your photos are showing you something that you weren't quite aware of, that's actually really good. That's the first step to creating some change. You need to sense it and be aware of it. And then with somatic exercises, you get let your brain learn how to break those patterns. And if you'd like to learn more and you want to get out of pain and discomfort or somatics can actually address multiple health issues that I'll explore with you in the future, let's get in touch. Get onto my website at thinksomatics.com and you'll learn more there. I have classes and work with individuals in my studio in Portland, Oregon. And if you're outside the area, we can still work together via the internet. So once again, thinksomatics.com and thanks for being here. Take care.